Hey guys, did you know by watching me eat yogurt? Hmm. You guys gonna become better programmers. Fact. Last video, I talked about how you should be looking at code and reading code. My God, I'm like spitting things out. What I meant by that is that when you get your first job, to be honest with you, you're not going to be writing a lot of your own code. You're actually going to be looking at somebody else's code and you will have to understand what it is that they wrote and then you're going to be making changes or fixing bugs. That's basically what I meant, why it's important to be able to read code and to understand it. So if you're able to read code and to understand it, you're making good progress. But I just wanted to clear that up for you guys why I mentioned that as one of the number one reasons that will help you to become a better programmer. But in this video, I want to talk about, about something that's more important and it actually brings up a very interesting question. If you had a choice to go to boot camp or do this one thing that I'm going to tell you, which one would you do and which one is more financially feasible? The truth is no matter what you do, you will have to invest in your education. It's either with your time, with your money or a little bit of both. So I know I kept you guys waiting for this big reveal. Like what is he going to tell us? Well, here it goes. You guys need to have a mentor. The truth Truth is, when you're learning to code as a self-taught developer, your number one, your biggest obstacle is that you do not have a direction of where to go. And you're going to end up meandering around this idea of learning to code, learning stuff that you don't even need to know that's not going to help you get a job. And by the time you figure it out that's the path you're on, it'll be two, three years. How do I know this? Because it was the case for me. I tried studying on my own. I studied with studying Ruby. I jumped from Python, PHP, C++, all the languages you could possibly imagine. I probably tried him. And you know what happened to me? I basically learned a lot about nothing. And that's the truth. And so you need to have a laser focus. And when you decide on something to learn, that's what you stick to. And my life changed when my friend Jeff, who knew me for a while, but I just never, like I knew he was a software developer, but I never reached out to him and asked him for his help. I just never thought about it. And then one day he's like, Paul, like I know you're looking to get into web development. You've been spinning your wheels for years. Let's meet once a week every Sunday and I'll help to guide you in the direction you have to go. And I was like, okay, sounds good. And then I told him what my plan was like, stop, don't even tell me the rest of the stuff. This is what we're going to pull. You're going to dedicate yourself to becoming a React developer. And all you're going to do is learn everything that's necessary to be able to get your job fast. That was like his thing. He's like, learn just enough JavaScript so you can start learning React. If you get stuck in React, go back and learn some more JavaScript. And because I had Jeff to help me out and guide me to stand the path, it was really, really helpful. And so I was lucky in that sense to have Jeff. Like if you're in a place where you can't find a mentor, I would suggest actually trying to find one online, like a tutor or a mentor. One that comes to the top of mind here is Dev Mentor Live. Why do I bring his name up? Because I got introduced to him watching his live coding tutorials. They're amazing. You should check out his channel. And I noticed that he offered one-on-one -on -one coaching and I took it. And you know what? That was one of the best things I've done. When you pay someone to coach you, number one, you're learning exactly what you want to learn. They're able to also correct you as you make mistakes. If you're working on tutorials only, what happens, you might be making mistakes and not even realizing. And by the time you get really far into your tutorial and it doesn't work anymore, you don't know enough to go and troubleshoot those mistakes. So you basically have to restart the tutorial again. I've been there many times where it was much harder for me to bug fix than it was just to say, screw it, I'm going to start from the beginning. So that's one way that you are able to kind of rocket yourself to a better place. Now, the one like having a mentor, though, it's not like a golden ticket that will allow you to be successful no matter what. I used to teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I used to teach privates. A private for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is 150 dollars an hour. There are people that would come into that private and they would just show up, pay the money, have a good workout, then go home and that's it. They would not try to apply the things they learn in their private in their normal training in a group class. And so that $150 I was happy with because I was getting paid, but in my mind, they were really wasting their time. So wh what I would tell my students, I'm like, look, if you're not going to practice this stuff in a group class and really try to make an effort to get better, I don't want you as a student. Granted, yes, I want and I love money, but at some point I was like, man, 
there's other people I could be training that are taking this more seriously. So if you get a tutor, the most important thing you could do is take that seriously and make sure that you're really applying yourself, not just to the one-on-one -on -one lesson, but you're going over the things you're learning at home and you're spending a lot of time. So for every hour, I would say you spent with a tutor, you should spend another eight hours on your own studying. Now, the cost of tutors varies. Of course, you could find a free tutor who is your friend, that's fantastic. But you could also find paid tutors. And the more in demand someone is, or the more knowledge they have, the more expensive they're going to be. For instance, when I taught Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I was a black belt. A private lesson with a black belt was $150. If you were a brown belt, so one step below, the lesson was $100. And if you were a purple belt, it would be like 50 bucks. So you could see that it gets small and small. So depending where you're on your journey, you could find an appropriate mentor that could help you. Some mentors are more expensive, but you do get what you pay for it. and it's not uncalled spending $80 per lesson to get a class. So if you are looking for a mentor, there's plenty of places to check out. You could Google online, but there's a guy that I've been going to, Dev Mentor Live. He's on YouTube. Check out his channel, check out his tutorials. He does a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one to get to know you. You could decide if this is something you want to do. He's an amazing guy, but I am going to tell you that just because he's an amazing guy, he's good at teaching, explaining things, doesn't mean that if you're not going to take it seriously, Seriously, you're not gonna benefit from it. It's just like anything you do. So even though I want to say that the fastest way to get better is to have a mentor to guide you along the way, regardless if you find a free one or you pay for one, I think it's worth it. Paying for the time, uh, return on your investment is great, but only if you're making the best out of it. And so the final question is: Normal bootcamp costs fifteen thousand dollars, and yes, you're in a group. There's other teachers, but everybody has a different experience. And so my, the question I'm going to pose: What do you think is better? Is it better to go to a bootcamp or to just take that money and maybe for a fraction of it hire a mentor? Let's say you hire someone for eighty dollars. So fifteen thousand dollars divided by eighty, I think you get like hundred. 187 one on one one hour lessons like if you can't get to a point where at least halfway through you can't get a job like I don't know like there's got to be something that you're not doing because if you have a mentor and they're guiding you and you're asking them questions you're involved in your learning I don't see how can you not learn the things that you need and develop the skill even building portfolios your mentor could help you so anyway I'm talking a lot about it I don't get any commissions for any of the people I recommend and believe me if I do get commissions I will let you know first with that being said Go check out Dev Mental Life. He has a great YouTube channel. I really like the guy and he's really good, especially if you're looking to learn JavaScript, React. I also think he does Python. I don't do Python, so I didn't really ask him about it. But great guy. You see him once in a while, comment on the bottom of my channel. So fantastic. So with that being said, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. This idea of getting a mentor to help you along the way. I know sometimes money is tight and sometimes you're like, man, I can't afford to pay someone to teach me. There's plenty of people on YouTube that like even Dev Mental Life, you could learn a lot from his free content. And he does lives and which I'm like really upset about because when he does a live session, he shows really good stuff. Man, that's that's a great deal. But if it's not that mental life, definitely check out his channel. You could find other people that do life coding and will take in questions and help you guys out. I'm going to try to do the same thing. And my target, I'm just going to tell you right now, is more focusing on beginners just starting out. So if there's some more advanced concept that you're willing to learn, you let's say intermediate, you're no longer a junior developer, you should definitely uh, check out Dev Mentor Life because he will better explain those higher level topics that I would do. And I'm not shy about saying that because I still feel I have a lot to offer for you guys, even if it's just sitting here and eating yogurt. Speaking of which, mm, this yogurt's so good. This is your daily time of SMR. I don't even know how to pronounce that. That's disgusting. I don't know how people listen to that stuff. Like, I mean, actually, to be honest with you, I do get it. I spend an hour watching a video of a dog eating watermelon SMR channel. That was fantastic. Now, if I have white stuff on the teeth, whatever, still like, you know, because you want more people to see this channel. And I hope you got some value out of this video. I wanted to make it really quick for you guys because I was thinking about it. That was like, if I were to say, what was my number one success factor that helped me move, finally move forward, make progress, is that I had a mentor. And that's what I wanted to talk about. And anyway, I will catch you guys later. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. The dramatic ending.